How has the series has gone along? Have you learned about, obviously a lot more about the Celtics, things you can exploit now five games in? Um, I mean, we know how we want to play against them. I think we um, we understand what, the, um, what we want to do, how we want to do it offensively and defensively. Now we just got to come in and execute. So we found a few things, so we just got to do a better job of just carrying over onto the road. Why does home court mean such a big advantage? Um, your fans, your crowd, um, you can make mistakes and still get away with it. I think when you're, um, you know, when you're at home, you can make a few mistakes, a couple turnovers, like we had, you know, last game having 19 turnovers. You can kind of get away with it at home because your fans are so great and um, they're into the game and they kind of give you that momentum. So I think it's the fans. Of those 19, how many of those would you say are bad ones? Nine. Too many, yeah. I mean, they, they, they're a tough team. They're a great defensive team. And um, when you're playing, you know, you expect to have 10 just because they're playing defense. But we got to be able to take care of the basketball when we're in situations where, where um, we have advantage on the break or two-on-one swing swings or they double team in the post and we can make the play to get guys open shots. We got to be able to deliver those balls. So uh, we got to be better. How hard is it to walk that fine line, pace, not turning over and not thinking too much about the turnovers? Um, just, we we got to play with pace. You know that's who we are, and um, we got to get the ball, for, you know, faster. They're going to switch. We get a chance to exploit our, the mismatches, but we just got to do a better job of taking care of the basketball when we are playing faster, and just making the right simple play. Yeah, okay. yeah, it feels good. Yeah. yeah. He said his elbow was a little hurting the other night. That's okay. Yes. How much uh, hindrance does LeBron give on on run outs for the other team? I mean. He's botched a bunch of Celtics runouts just with the threat of him getting either the chase down block or blocking a shot. I mean, how much of a help is that when he can single handedly stop a break? Um, well, it's big because, you know, they have five guys who can get the rebound and push down on a break and attack. So I thought last game we did a good job outside of our turnovers of getting back and I'm getting matched and, you know, making him take tough shots, contested shots, loading to the basketball. So when he's doing that, he has the capability of blocking shots from behind or, you know, cutting guys off one-on-one -on -one is big for our defense. Is he one of the great shot blockers of all time? Chase down, yes. Yeah. yeah. When you talked the other night about Tristan helping Larry, do you, do you think Tristan's kind of gone above and beyond maybe the usual mentor kind of situation? I wouldn't say above and beyond, but I think he's doing a good job just, you know, showing Larry the ropes and what it takes. And um, they around the same age, but Tristan's been here for a while, and he's been to three straight finals, so he understands what it takes. And he's been doing a good job just staying in Larry's ear, um, telling him what he sees and what he should be doing, so it's good. I just wonder if that accelerated his development in these playoffs. You have to ask him. I'm not sure. But, I mean, I know it's helped him out, though.